Art Media, Wikipedia Article Audio. Art Media was a social sculpture project in the form of series of socio-political public art events that took place in 1986 in Albuquerque in Santa Fe, New Mexico. This groundbreaking artist forum featured artworks presented to the public through the mass media in a series of artist-designed billboards, television, radio and print media, and in museum exhibitions, a lecture series, and performance art series. Through this extended format, the artwork and ideas of contemporary artists were made accessible to a large public audience outside of the traditional art audience. Art Media operated as a museum without walls with an office located in the historical Chemo Theater on Route 66. National and locally known artists were commissioned to create socio-political artwork presented through the mass media. These works addressed critical issues of the time, such as nuclear proliferation, environmental degradation, human rights, animal rights, and loss of privacy through technology. The associated forum and events stimulated discourse between local communities and nationally known artists through hands-on video workshops, interviews, lectures, performances, informal discussions and road trips. Inspired by the concept model of Joseph Buey's social sculpture, that would have the potential to transform society, art media was an extended artwork that included human interactions, creating structures and systems within societies using language, thought, objects, events and actions. The project was documented by video artist Stina and Woody Vasulka who founded The Kitchen in New York City in 1971. Artists involved in art media included, Hans Hacke, Jenny Halzer, Rachel Rosenthal, Terry Allen, Paul Bob of Bob and Bob, Church of the Subgenius, Godfrey Reggio and the Institute for Regional Education, Mohammed Jim 5X, Larry Goodell, Violet Ray, Bob Willis, The Carcass Sisters, Jean-Paul Curte, Lousy Moffin and Robert McDermott, Patrick Clancy and Gwen Widmer, Lee Connor, Barbara Bach, Manny Redinger, John P. McCloskey, Stephen Derland of High Performance Magazine, and the art critic historian, Craig Owens. Artist-designed billboards included a series of 40 billboards by Jenny Halzer addressing Ronald Reagan's strategic defense initiative, and deployed a fleet of Halzer's inflammatory statements street posters. Rachel Rosenthal designed a billboard dealing with animal rights for laboratory rats. Paul Bob designed a series of billboards on the practice of everyday life. Artist designed print media projects included a color spread by Patrick Clancy and Gwen Widmer that recontextualized articles within Albuquerque magazine. Jenny Halzer produced a large print piece containing her inflammatory statements that was inserted into the Sunday edition of the Albuquerque Journal newspaper. Paul Bob and Rosenthal produced projects and other statewide publications. Exhibitions included subversive acts, artists working with the media politically, at the New Mexico Museum of Art at the University of New Mexico Art Museum, and the Art Gallery Fodgelson Library Center at the College of Santa Fe. Subversive Acts was an exhibition of mass media forms utilized by artists to present their sociological, environmental and political messages. The video exhibition Tuning In, took place at the Museum of Fine Arts, Santa Fe, and the Art Gallery of the College of Santa Fe. Public performances included visual artist and country western singer, Terry Allen, performance artist and ecological activist Rachel Rosenthal, Paul Bob and performance poet, Larry Goodell. Public lectures included Hans Hacke on art, economics and ethics, Jenny Halzer speaking on the power of public art interventions to change human consciousness, Stephen Derland on the history of performance art, Craig Goins of Art in America magazine speaking on the relationship between political art and the mass media. The concept for the project originated in 1984 with artists Dwayne Griffin, Patrick Clancy and Scott Portman who later joined with co-directors Eve Andrea Laramie and Ann Zimmerman to found the project and organization. The Santa Fe Center for Contemporary Arts was the fiscal sponsor under 501c3 not-for-profit status. Bob Gaylor, then director of SFCCC and invited the team to be part of a think tank at Street. John's College along with Stina and Woody Vasulka, Alan Caprow, Carolee Skneeman, Edward T. Hall, Jerome Rothenberg. Empowered by this experience, a team of advisors were assembled. Gaylor served as a primary advisor throughout the project, along with Gordon Church of the City of Albuquerque Cultural Affairs Office. The Albuquerque Arts Alliance and the City of Albuquerque became the second fiscal sponsor, 
providing an office in the historical Chemo Theater on Route 66. Stina and Woody Veselka introduced the organizers to Godfrey Reggio, director of the film Coyer Nascazzi who provided guidance on organizing social sculpture events as public service announcements. Reggio, having been involved in numerous progressive political causes, took interest because his Institute for Regional Education had developed a multimedia campaign of SIS for the American Civil Liberties Union on the invasion of privacy and use of technology to control behavior in 1972. The project was sponsored by the National Endowment for the Arts, Albuquerque Arts Alliance, the Santa Fe Center for Contemporary Art, and the New Mexico Arts Division. Grants were received from the National Endowment for the Arts and the Inter-Arts and the Artist Forums categories in the New Mexico Arts Division. Art Media Documentation HTTPS colon, slash slash, Vimeo com slash 39,454,685.